So the weather outside sucks right now. It's still rainy every day. And I just can't get outside and film. So I'm going to do this review at the tabletop. But it should be a good review nonetheless. I hope unless I screw it up horribly. Which I usually do. But let's hope I don't. And yeah let's get to it. So the knife that I'm reviewing today is this bayonet by, I don't even know how to say the name, I'm going to say Zisco. I don't know, it's like S-Z-C-O. If I'm saying it right, gay me, and if not, cut me some slack, it's a weird name. Anyways, this is like a 30 something dollar bayonet you can buy online, and it's actually not bad for what it is. But before we discuss the actual knife, let's take a look at the sheath it comes in. So to discuss the sheath, let's take the knife out of here first. See how well it sits in there. And the sheath has all kinds of different clips and attachments and crazy belt loops and stuff. And you can attach this any way you want. You can wear it in all kinds of ways. And it's actually a really nice sheath. It's really thick hard plastic and it's built very solid I actually like the sheath a lot and it's got this little pocket here with velcro and a snap and it's a decent sized little pocket you can put all kinds of stuff in there it's got the wire cutter on the front you just take your knife put it on there and you can cut wire with it and on the back it's got this little snap with a sharpening stone in it the only thing that I don't like about this stone is A, they had to be re-glued to it because it, it just comes loose and the glue they use is terrible and B, it's very rough. They could have put a finer stone in there but it, it still works. It'll still sharpen your knife and you can take pretty much all this off if you want. You can have it however you want and you know, if you're paying like 30 something bucks, it's actually a nice sheath. It, it looks very military and it's going to hold up very well. And I actually really like this sheath. And it's one of the rare knives that I actually like the sheath it comes in. So, yeah, sheath is really good for the money. But let's discuss the knife itself. So, this is the bayonet right here. And it's actually not bad at all for the money the only real issue I have with it is I don't know if you can see these little spots in it I mean I I, I kind of think it's just like a weird rust it kind of got wet a little and that happened and I have not been able to get that off the knife at all but I mean like if you keep it oiled and keep it clean it's going to be fine but I, this steel does seem to rust pretty easy but on the other hand it's actually pretty decent it's very thick and it takes a nice edge it came decently sharp and even with that rough stone on it it takes and holds a pretty good edge and I mean I've been using this thing <coughs> just for like random outdoor stuff just to beat on it and test it out and so far, it's holding up pretty well. I mean, it's taken everything I've thrown at it. The one thing I have not tried to do is mount it on a rifle. I don't know if it'll fit. I, I really don't. So I couldn't tell you that. But it looks cool, and it has a little thing to mount it on the rail. <coughs> and I imagine if it fits on the barrel, it'd be a nice bayonet. Sorry about that. I, I feel like I have something in my throat. But, yeah, it, it would be cool. And can you imagine seeing this on the end of your rifle? Someone coming at you with this? That'd be terrifying. But, yeah, it's just stainless steel. I don't know what kind of steel they use. I'm going to imagine 440A, even though it does take a good edge. It's got a decent heat treatment. It does rust pretty easy. And it is made in China. 
But I mean, you're only spending like $30, $35 on it. And the sheath is pretty awesome. So it looks very military. It, it's, it's very budget friendly. And so far, it, it's held up quite well. And I've been thumping on this quite a bit. And it's held up. And I like this a lot. And if you're going to, like, hypothetically put this on a rifle and use it as a bayonet and stab somebody with it, it it's going to do the job very well. It's, it's going to hold up to that. And it's going to definitely do what it's meant to do. And this, like, saw thing in the back, I don't know what other kind of practical use it would be, but if this did go inside of a person... Pulling it out is just going to tear everything out. And it's going to be pretty brutal. So it would probably work extremely well as an actual bayonet. As far as just like an everyday knife to carry, it's, it's a little much. But for like camping or something, it's surprisingly good for it. I mean, it, it does what you're going to use a knife for. And it does it well. And it holds up better than you think, so... It's actually a really nice line, knife, not life. Sorry about that. Um, it's actually a really nice knife. I do like it a lot. I don't really like the, the rust resistant of it because it's kind of non-existent. But if you keep it oiled, you keep it clean, it should last you quite a while. It should be a pretty decent knife. And keep in mind that it is only like thirty something dollars, and most of that money is going into the sheath. So, yeah. Other than that, it, it it's cool as hell. I like it. It's not gonna be like a buck bayonet by any means. But then again, you're also not spending two, three hundred dollars on it. So, yeah, it'll, it'll serve its purpose. It'll be a good bayonet. It'll be a good camping knife. Maybe even a good hunting knife, is, even though it's a little ridiculous, but yeah, it'll do. And it's just kind of a cool knife to have. I mean, look at it. It's a freaking bayonet. Why wouldn't you want to own a bayonet? They're cool. So that's pretty much my review. Sorry if I stumbled through that one a bit. I'm just having a very off day. But I hope you liked the review anyways. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and anything else you want to add, let me know in the comments down below.